Okay, so today is, what is it, Wednesday, July the 3rd, and we are about ready to go into Fort Concho in San Angelo to figure out what the heck it is. It says it's a historic landmark, museum, and site tours. So this was a military installation a long time ago. And uh, we're gonna go uh, check it out. What do you think? Yep. You excited, Tammy? I'm excited. You're real excited, aren't you? We yeah. can't wait. Can't, can't wait. wait. All right. I'm gonna go in. Uh oh, this is kind of creepy. We've got uh, people playing Civil War up here. Yeah. I think they're part of the show. We'll find out in a minute. So, after listening to quite a long dissertation about this place, she told us where to go first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and um, this particular location is last on the list, but Tammy decided to ignore her. Just ignore her, didn't you? So I just wanna go here first, forget it. Anyway, we're gonna learn all about Fort Concho. It's kinda cool. Look, I'm already getting pushed out. I like stuff like this. Any questions about anything? No. Not yet. Well, what is that? No, that is actually a rain cover for the kippies. For the what? The rain cover. Uh -huh. So you have your kippy cap right here, which is a garrison cap, generally worn on post. Yeah. And it okay. was a oiled cloth. Mm -hmm. Not really hardened, it, you know, it moved a little bit, but it was oiled cloth and it would fit on top of the cape to protect it from the rain. <laughs> okay. And you can that's see cool, I see it right one. there. One, it's actually on one of the cape's right here. Okay. But that's what it is. Oh, okay. So that's why you see some, many of these pieces not labeled just yet because I am just now putting them in. Okay. Very cool. So you're a curator here? Mm -hmm. Very cool. All right. Well, thanks for the info. Appreciate it. I see you. You're gonna shoot mortar? That mortar right there. All right. Well, where are you gonna shoot? It's fake though, right? I mean, it's... <laughs> well, blank. Blank. Yeah. I should say blank. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. So this is what it actually would have fired. So a solid shot would have been a 24 pounder, but because this is an exploding shell, it's hollow, so it weighs 17 pounds. Cut it to the length you want, put it in, bring the book back if you would, Garrett. And drive it in with a fuse set or wedge it in place. Uh, once you got it loaded, ready to go, you load the tube with the amount of powder you want for the range you want. The only way you can vary the range is by varying the amount of the propellant charge. Then you take these and I know it's there somewhere. Thank you. There we go. And then pick it up carry it over and lower it in gently. That's kind of important actually. Yeah, right. And make sure the fuse is pointed out and then mm -hmm. you can release it. And then you would put in, in the vent, you put in a friction primer. They're about to shoot kids out of the cannon. This should be awesome. I mean, awesome. Cannot wait. Hey, they're gonna say goodbye to their dad. No, I guess they're not shooting kids out of the cannon. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is quite serious. <coughs> oh. Was pretty loud. Way to go! And this is what they do. <coughs> and look, Fort Concho is a Pepsi pour. <laughs> Who knew? When I see that, I think of the Budweiser commercial. I'm probably wrong. When you say bud, do, 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 
So you can't go into officer's quarters one or two. But, uh, here we go down the, oh, that's authentic. <laughs> Cut your five horse poop. All right, so this is how they would have traveled down the road back in the day. Can't go in there. It's uh, an active ruin. They are, digging it up for some archaeological purpose she didn't say but they're probably looking for you know who knows what I'm not gonna speculate here okay so officers quarters three we can go in and we will we want to check this out oh, it's a pretty cool staircase Little fixture. I don't think you can actually go in anywhere. You just kind of see. Oh my gosh, that bed is sad. Oh, there's a chamber pot. Hmm. I had to be real authentic about it. Look at that poor deer. Oh dear. Oh. Gone a long time. It looks I think he has a tear. Look, he has a tear. The deer has a tear. I don't blame him. Got taxidermied a hundred years ago. No, well, maybe 150. Anyway, this appears to be the sitting area for the officers. Not too shabby. So we've got a little piano over here. Oh, there's a fake dog on the steps. Oh my god. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. What was back here, Tammy? Wow, they had it pretty good back then. Look at that. Digital AC. Nice. Actually, I think it's an alarm. Okay. So then they have this set up what they might have for dinner. Who's that dude? All right. I think I've seen that in an antique store. I'm supposed to be allowed to go in here. After seeing all the history of telephones, not exactly sure what that has to do with much of anything, except it was, you know, founded by uh, Verizon. <laughs> now we're off to look at these ruins. Do not climb on ruins. Okay, well, we will not. Tammy, do not. Do not. All right. Good to know. Let's go check out the ruins. Just don't climb on them, for Pete's sake. Not really as interesting as the Colosseum in Rome. Gotta be honest. And yes, we have been to the Colosseum, so I think I can attest to this. Okay, that was quick. On to the next. Okay, so this is the chapel. Oh, we're gonna check it out. Schoolhouse and chapel. I wonder if I can do it correctly. Welcome to Fort Concha. You know, I can imagine they had to double up. I don't see any crosses or anything. Look, I see a dunce cap, don't you? Is that a dunce cap? <laughs> no. 
That's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Funny. Yeah, That's right. Don't act up, kids. Don't act up. Now we're walking to the hospital. Let's see what that is like. I'm not sure if I want to go in. <laughs> okay, we're going to go <clears throat> inside the hospital. Check this out, I think. <clears throat> that, you can't get in behind door number one. You want to try door number two? Okay. Museum of Frontier Medicine. Okay. Let's go. All right. Well, we'll try that door. Oh. Yeah, I know. They said it. It was open, so. I want my three bucks back if it's not open. I'm going to give you, tell you that much right now. Oh, there's a welcome mat here, sort of. Let's see. Oh. Okay, third time's a charm. Ooh, it's a creaky door. Oh, lovely. First thing we see, toilets. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Let me just say, <clears throat> smells funk up in here. Beds, huh? Looks like a malaria tent. Oh, okay. now hold up. Who wants to see a coffin in there? Mm -hmm. oh, and this is where you're likely to end up because our meds are not, you know, state of the art. They were state of the art back in the 1800s, but unfortunately, don't. That's it. This is headquarters for the fort. Headquarters for the fort. Let's see what that entails. Okay. Secretary. This. And they have heat. Whew, again, it smells. Oof. Looks like it's where you get your heave ho court martial. Oh, look at that. I'm right. <laughs> court martial room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think you want to be a part of that. What? We're going to go check out the Fort Concho Living History Stable. Here they have a couple of mules up in here. Transportation. Alright, let's see what we got over here. Uh oh. Mac. And Bet oh, it smells like it. And Betty. And Barney. I just see a bunch of food. Oh man. Oh, there's they're out there. Hey, mules. Yeah. All right, so uh, there we go. The living history of the old pack mule. <laughs>